In chapter 14, we have a stone cutter's chisel has an edge area of 0.3 centimeters squared, which you can see right there. Uh, if the chisel is struck with a force of 21 newtons, what is the pressure exerted on the stone? So uh, like we usually do, what is our process? We start with the question, what is the question? What is the pressure exerted on the stone? So the formula for pressure is just force over area. It's just force per unit area. So what's our force? 21 newtons, if you want to include the unit. Over area, this is the area of the chisel. It's given to us, but it's given to us in centimeters squared. So we have to convert it to meters squared. That's probably the most twisted thing in this question. So if you were to convert one centimeter to a meter, you would say it's 10 raised to minus two meters. But now you want to do one centimeter squared. So it's going to be the square of that, which is just 10 raised to minus four meters squared. So that would give me 10 raised to minus 4 meters squared. Oh, actually, I put that down already. And once I do that, do that math, I should see that this is about 7 times 10 raised to 5 newton meter raised to minus 2. Hope that made sense. Uh, question 2 from a set of questions that you had sent me. So read out the question. A uniform ladder 15 feet long is leaning against a frictionless wall at an angle of 53 degrees above the horizontal. The weight of the ladder is 30 pounds. A 75 pound boy climbs 6 feet up the ladder. What is the magnitude of the frictional force exerted on the ladder by the floor? So they're saying what is the magnitude of the frictional force exerted by the ladder on the ladder by the floor? So they're asking us for this force. So this is the free body diagram of the ladder that I just drew out of ladder so that's just all the forces acting on the ladder since the wall is frictionless that's just a normal force which is at 90 degrees with the wall that's the weight of the ladder that's the weight of the boy there's the frictional force from the floor on the ladder and there's a normal force on the ladder so immediately when you see this you you want to analyze for what are the forces in the x direction what are the forces in the y direction and immediately I see that the forces in the x-direction, there, there are just two. There's FR. So if I use the formula sum of all forces, then x equals 0. Why is it equal to 0? It's usually equal to mass times acceleration. But it's 0 because the ladder isn't moving, right? It's, a, it's static equilibrium. So FR is positive. Minus FH would be 0. So FR equals FH, which means this force is equal to that force right so that immediately tells me that if I'm looking for I was out of view for a second so if I'm looking for FR I, I could find FH or if I'm looking for FH I could find FR so now to find this I could just find this and how do I find this it'd be it, it would be convenient for me to find this if I found the torque sum of all torques about this point which would el eliminate these two unknowns and I could find that. So if I did sum of all torques equals zero about the ground contact point, right? Ground contact point. Then I get the torques due to these two guys are zero now. So I have torque due to this, torque due to this, and torque due to that. Torque due to FH plus torque due to uh, the weight of the ladder plus torque due to the weight of the boy equals zero. What's torque due to that? Torque due to that would be FH, right? Now this is the point about which I'm rotating. This is the length of the ladder. So I can do FH, you see that? So it's gonna be FH times, what's the length of the ladder? The length of the ladder is 15 feet. So FH times 15, FH times 15 times sine of the angle between the force and the length of the ladder. And what is that angle? If I extend this force, this angle and this angle are going to be the same, right? So it's going to be sine 53. How is it spinning it? It's spinning it counterclockwise, so it's positive. 
plus watts torque of m uh, of torque due to the weight of the ladder that's going to be the force which is mass of the ladder times g times the length and what is the length the length is a uh, half way up the ladder so it's 7.5 again it's rotating the ladder clockwise this is rotating clockwise so it's negative and it's going to be sine what's the angle here if i extend it this is 90 this is 53 this would be 37 degrees so sine 37 degrees plus what's the torque due to the weight of the kid it's going to be the weight 75 times times the length from the point of reference and the point of reference right i never i never explicitly said that but that's our point of reference that's the point about which we're rotating this ladder or we're visualizing the rotation this distance is seven feet up the ladder i believe i think it was seven feet uh, six feet up the ladder right so he's six feet up the ladder so it's going to be 75 times six that's going to be negative again it's a spin counterclockwise sign again the angle would be 37 degrees equals zero and now we can solve for fh it's the only unknown if we find fh that's going to be equal to our frictional force fh equals fr hope that made sense um just to recap on what we did first step draw the free body once you have all the forces set out only one force due to frictionless wall there's a friction uh, there's a frictional force here, there's a new normal force here, there's for the weight, there's the weight of the ladder, the weight of the kid, and we use sum of all x is equal zero, we get fr equals fh, so it is only necessary for us to find fh, and that would give us fr, and that g brings us up, brings us to the idea of using torques, so you use torque about this point, because there are three unknowns, if I use, make this my point of reference, and spin the ladder around here, then I know that these two would go to zero. So do sum of torques about this point, and that would give me torque due to this plus torque due to this plus torque due to that. Write it all out. Only one unknown. You find FH. You find FH. You got FR. Hope hope that.